Hello, I'm Erin Brumlevy with Innovate Properties, and we are here in Arvada, Colorado today with my good friend, Julie Mayo from Hilo Decor. Julie, so nice to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, <laughs> so tell us about how you started Hilo Decor. Yeah, I started Hilo Decor six years ago, mm -hmm. but I actually graduated from college with an occupational therapy degree. Mm -hmm. I was a therapist until we moved out to Colorado, and then I wanted to stay home to raise our two children until they both went to school full time. Once they did, that's when I decided to make a career change and pursue interior design. Tell us about your philosophy as a designer mm -hmm. and also your approach when working with clients. Yeah, you know, we all have our personal style when it comes to interior design. I say my preferred style is transitional, which is a mixture of modern and traditional. I enjoy mixing styles because I think contrasting styles add more character to the overall design. But that doesn't mean that I only work with clients who share the same style. Hmm. In the past, I've done projects where it's a rustic industrial kitchen to a coastal inspired bedroom. Mm -hmm. One design approach that I have is that I do like to splurge on key furniture pieces mm -hmm. and then complete the space with more affordable accent pieces and decor. Mm -hmm. You know, with stores like Target and Home Goods, it's doable to personalize and decorate your home without breaking the bank. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially how I came up with my business name, Hilo Decor. High for that high-end look, mixed with low, budget-friendly pieces. Mm -hmm. We are here in one of your recently completed projects in this beautiful kitchen. I'm, I'm loving <laughs> it. So, so tell us about it. Yeah, you know, this kitchen originally had outdated oak cabinets, basic square floor tiles throughout. There were no pendant lights and only hanging light was just a small light over mm -hmm. the dining table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this kitchen got a huge makeover. Mm -hmm. I helped the clients select finishes such as the countertop and the cabinets mm -hmm. and lighting and flooring. And we also worked with a kitchen designer mm -hmm. for the cabinet layout, mm -hmm. as well as a contractor to execute the design. Mm -hmm. yeah. So once the renovation was completed, then I came back to style the space. And styling is such an important part of the design process, which you don't want to overlook. It's basically equivalent to say, tying a ribbon on a gift. Yes. Styling and adding the right amount of finishing touches is really what's going to make your home stand apart from the rest. 100%, mm -hmm. and this home just shines. Speaking of styling, Julie, I see this beautiful, stunning cabinet display. Would you mind sharing some of the tips and how you worked with your client to bring this to life? Yes, my client actually found this beautiful vintage cabinet from a consignment store. Using vintage pieces like this is such an effective way to mix and layer traditional and modern elements in a home. And as you can see, it immediately adds that warmth, charm, and personality to the space. We kept the original light wood finish, but painted the interior black, which offers a clean and timeless look. Plus, I knew we were going to add some black furnishings, which will help tie the pieces together. The first tip is you want to choose items that are most representative of the space. Since this cabinet is in the kitchen, I use items such as dishware, serving bowls, and cookbooks. The second tip is you want to display items that vary in size and height. Oftentimes, I'll place a pretty bowl or a vessel on top of stacked books or a tray to add the height. I also like to lean artwork behind items to fill in the space and to add dimension. The third tip is you want to repeat similar colors and materials throughout the space. This repetition will make the unit feel more cohesive. For example, you'll see repetition of wood, brass, and light colored dishware, which also contrasts beautifully against the black interior. So when it comes to styling, just know that it's going to take you some time. When you look at those perfectly decorated rooms in magazines and in social media, it took them hours to create that space. You know, if you ever get overwhelmed or just don't have that eye for design, I am more than happy to help. I offer services from decorating to designing and selecting finishes for renovations, such as this kitchen, 
and also space planning and furnishing rooms. You can find me on my website at hilodecor.com. Fantastic. Julie, thank you so much. And thank you everyone who joined us today. I'm Erin Brumlevy. We've been here with Julie Mayo and we hope you have a great rest of your day.